So here we are right now, right after the Icon Boot Camp, and we have the world-renowned Dr. Faith with Andy Shepard. Andy, you just had an amazing experience listening to Dr. Faith. Tell me what happened. Well, an experience. There's been several experiences, actually. Um, I can't look in this woman's eyes because, <laughs> I mean, magic happens. I get transformed into other dimensions, but that's another story. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I felt the, the energy impact of you the first time I saw you, and I thought, mm -hmm. I must connect with you, find out who you are. Mm -hmm. When we sat down at lunchtime, you were talking about, you know, going about other dimensions, and mm -hmm. then suddenly the whole room just stopped and all there was was just you. Uh, we just went into another dimension. That's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I've done quite a bit of meditation, so mm -hmm. you know I'm used to you know this kind of thing. Yes. A, I, I can't remember looking into somebody's eyes and this happening. Yeah. That was outstanding. So what was happening? What was ha well, what was really happening is that you were open. You were open, right? Mm -hmm. We are in all dimensions at the same time. This is what we call the third physical dimension, finite, right? Mm -hmm. And so I deal in the infinite dimension, not the physical dimension, although I'm projected in the third dimension physically, mm -hmm. right? And so you were open to your soul because your soul lives in all the dimensions at the same time. And you got, quote unquote, for lack of better words, caught up mm -hmm. in that dimension instantly. And you were experiencing the aspect of your soul in my consciousness. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's what it was. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. So do you want to hear more things that happen? Yeah, tell me. Because <laughs> you told shit with me that there are some different things that you, you, that we, you wrote down that were like before and after how you rated yourself on your emotions and how you felt as far as freedom mm -hmm. and as far as passion and all those things. Yeah. Talk about that. And I know you wrote some things down yeah. and you did some journaling. Share that with me. Okay, well... Actually, what happened was I, I kind of extended the the exercise that we just did mm -hmm. because you took us through a visualization and meditation mm -hmm. and a series of questions during that. Well, one of the things was like, um, uh, how joyful do you feel was one of the questions. And we, we did this all, all before the meditation. So then afterwards, you know, I basically, I was on, like, I'm joyful, I was on eight. And then afterwards, 10. Well. The reason I was on eight was because of this contact that we'd had. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, before I'd met you, I was probably on a three or a four. <laughs> so I'd already uh -huh. had the initial contact with okay. you. Okay, yeah. But the meditations were so powerful. They were just incredible. Uh -huh. I've done a lot of meditation before, Buddhist meditation. And you took me to levels that I would, I would experience during some really high level sure. Buddhism. You know, one Buddhist of the questions, stuff. Andrew, at the time that I asked yeah. the group was, um, how unlimited do you feel right. right now? How unlimited do you feel right now? And how free yes. you feel? Yeah. Um, what was the number you were at at that time? Right, well... Before that question. Okay, so yeah, I've got it all written down here. So how free, I put six before, mm -hmm. and then afterwards, you know, I went to a nine, but really I was at a 10, uh -huh. but I dropped because my conscious mind started kicking in and I started going, ah, oh, well, that's not reality. And how long did but that take you to get to a 10? Instantly. I mean, instantly. you just took me there instantly. Yeah, that, that's but, the whole idea about infinite momentum, but go ahead. Yeah, I mean, my problem was that the thing that I did wrong was I should have just rested in the energy of what you were doing, mm -hmm. and I wasn't. I was allowing my brain to come back into action again. Mm -hmm. And so that's just going to try, all it's going to do is drag me back to sixes again. Very good. So and, I and shouldn't have done that. Yes, I but should have stayed however, with the energy. what's important to get right now, it's interesting mm -hmm. that you said you did that wrong. Mm -hmm. There's never any wrong thing that we do. Okay. It's always. Um, uh, uh, an any probably ineffective choice that we made we've mm -hmm. made mm -hmm. but when you make that choice you immediately find out right. oh this will work better yeah, so if you just... hadn't made that choice right you wouldn't know that right now that's true you see yeah i do so I do. good thing you did that <laughs> yeah thank you yes right? yeah. absolutely and how free do you feel right now compared to how you felt um well now I, I feel 10 you feel a, feel a 10 and before the session where were you 
Um, and and this was on a scale, everyone, yeah. on a scale from one to ten, with ten being the highest of feeling mm -hmm. really free and feeling unlimited about yourself, and one the least. Yeah. So where were you? Well, for, for feeling free, I was six. You were a six. Yeah. And in literally, what in five minutes? Yeah. D yes. Right. As and you still feel that way right I now? I do. Yes. Yeah. Now, based on your experience. Are you free? Are you free and unlimited? I am. How do you know that? Because that's the essence of who we are. Yes. That's the core self uh -huh. of us. That's what we are inside, yeah. all and of us. And so did you experience the core essence of yes, your I soul? Did. Consciously? Yes, did. yes. And that's the key. Exactly. It's about conscious living. It's about consciously experiencing this. Mm -hmm. But what's important, you asked me a question earlier. We were talking about this on, um, you know, there's a lot of people who are aware of spirit, aware of um, uh, all these spiritual modalities that's coming out. But the challenge is the ability to be able to use this spiritual substance to make a difference in your physical, tangible life. Mm -hmm. To use it in a way that's practical. Exactly. Right? Yes. And one of the things that Infinite Momentum now does is real practicality, mm -hmm. opening up yourself to your soul, to who you really are, mm -hmm. and allowing yourself to integrate that energy to make a difference. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Is there any other questions that you had for me? Because this is really all about you. Okay. It's all about you. All about you guys. Well, a, a question now. I mean, what I, just something that I did with with a list of questions because then the energy of what had happened. It was like we got another presentation, but I just had to get out of the room mm -hmm. because I thought I need to transform this because it's like how unlimited do you feel? Mm -hmm. So I just started, you know, I wrote down in, in, in my notebook, I just put what, uh, what would make you feel uh, limitless and then I wrote a whole series of things down here of mm -hmm. what I needed to do to feel limitless Very good. And, and on each of them so what makes you joyful yes. instead of saying how joyful are you yes so then so then you know I, I'm I don't know how to do this technique so I thought well I, I need to do things that are going to get me into that state uh -huh. absolutely so, so I just wrote it all down you on the right track we didn't have a lot of time because we absolutely. only had an hour to yeah. squeeze 30 years yeah. of work into <laughs> one hour, right? Uh, but what we do have in Infinite Momentum now, we have a series of audios. We have like 38 different audios and techniques which in which I have got, just got recognized for all these techniques, wow. actually. And these techniques would help you to be able to not just feel happy and feel free and joyful and rich and unlimited, mm -hmm. but to be able to integrate it. Right. Yes. So the question you asked mm -hmm. just now would allow you to integrate that. Right. But the key is holding on to it. Right. How do you walk around as a real being mm -hmm. of joy? Right. Not just feeling joy, but being joy. Mm -hmm. So that when someone sees you pass by, they go, what was that? Ooh, mm -hmm. that was joy. Mm -hmm. Right. What was that? That's unlimitedness. Mm -hmm. And what happens, most importantly, when you're in that state, you are attracting the same thing back to you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you had a question about attraction, just one more question. Or any question about anything <laughs> that <laughs> you'd like to know. What, what was the question about uh, attraction? I can't remember. What was I asking? Uh, I think you uh, were we, asking We talked about, about so many things, I'm about sorry. About how, how we attract. How do we use this energy to attract? Mm -hmm. I think that it was something like that. Right. I don't remember, but yeah, okay. that sounds great. I'd like you to answer that. Okay, how do we use the energy to attract? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, first of all, if you had a thought, think of something right now. Think of something negative. Something negative. Um, I know you okay. might not want to do that, right, but that's okay. what you do without realizing yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Think of something that makes you afraid. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and think of something that makes you afraid. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And how do you feel? Notice how you feel. I feel overwhelmed. You feel overwhelmed, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Now, do you do you and out of control? Right. Like now, everything is energy. It. Yes. Yeah. Including your feelings, mm -hmm. and feelings are indicators. It's indicating something about your soul. It's indicating whether or not your soul likes what's going on or does not like what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, because everything is energy, 
energy attracts mm -hmm. yeah we like magnet magnet attracts mm -hmm. yes yeah so if you have a thought and you feel bad about that it's indicating that you are retracting mm -hmm. things that your soul wants you're retracting things that your soul wants